Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. Thank you all so much for joining me here. This message is for Scorpio. This is going to be a love reading for the month of April. This will be a you and them reading. So have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you're connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. This is a general message. It may not resonate for everyone, so you can always check your moon, rising, Venus signs. And if the message does resonate, there will be an extended at the end description in um, a link in the description box. So thank you everyone who's liked, subscribed, commented, donated. You all make it possible for me to bring you these messages and I appreciate it so much. Let's get started. What is the heart of the matter for Scorpio? Oh, this card's just kind of jumped right over my arm. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Okay, we have the heart of the matter, daily life, and heart space, intentions, and a potential outcome. Let's get the cards for your person and we'll get started. The heart of the matter for your person. What are some things happening in daily life? What's going on in the heart space? How are they feeling about your Scorpio? Intentions. And what is a potential outcome? This looks very interesting. I do have to say, so. Okay, heart of the matter for you, we have the death card. As you know, that is your Scorpio energy. That is a powerful energy of a huge transformation. Something is changing, something is transforming. I feel like this for you is I feel like it's different um, than for a lot of signs because you just have this understanding. There's this depth to Scorpio that you get that things have to transform. You get that things have to be released. You get that there are only certain things that can come into your life when you've really just um, done what you need to let go of what's not working for you. And... Um, and I feel like that's what's happening right now. Just the way that I see the sickle sort of like in the hand of, um, of the skeleton here. It's like this energy is, it's like cutting away something that isn't working. It's almost like it's something that you know you have to do. You know that you're going to do. You're going to cut things out of your life if they if they aren't working and that's not a bad thing. I think so often we spend so much time trying to do everything everybody wants, make everybody happy, put up with situations we're not really happy with because we're worried about the consequences and we keep our lives so full of stuff that there isn't room for the new things that need to come in. There isn't even room at times to be truly who we are. And I feel like with you, it's like you have this understanding of who you are and I just don't feel like you came to play today. And when it comes to this connection, this relationship, I don't think you're playing any games, Scorpio. I I think you know what um, what you want and you know what you need to release in order to get it. And I feel like the whole universe is coming in to help you with that powerful message leading into this. Um, your person has a seven of wands. Can be a little bit of guarded energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For me specifically, a lot of Leo energy here. 
but this is kind of a hero card. This is someone who is taking a stand um, for what they want, what they believe in, say no to things that don't work so they can say yes to what does. I do feel like because they're holding that kind of wand in their hand, the desire is to communicate, move forward. There's a lot of interest, there's a lot of passion, but they know there are some things that they need to also somehow just like say no to, let go, release. It's, I feel like whatever this connection is, it isn't going to be something that maybe everybody's going to agree on in this person's life or maybe it, it might not be like the easiest thing. There might be some challenges. There might be some distance. There might be some other things going on. Um, but I feel like if someone really cares, if someone really has feelings for you, they take a stand and they do what it takes to make things work. I know that when I love someone I would do anything like I would do anything that it that it takes to to see it through and I don't care who agrees like if my family or my location or whatever other kind of factors it's like love is a powerful rare beautiful thing and sometimes we do have to take a stand sometimes we do have to have to fight for it but if you really love someone it's it's worth it and there's definite love here so in your daily life you've got the five of wands so more leo energy could be significant but that's fire there um i have to say there's a mirroring energy here there's five in your daily life and there's five of wands in your person's heart play heart space could have been some sort of disagreement challenge um between you and this person. I mean, you could have had words. You could have told them um, exactly, exactly how you feel, exactly how you, things need to be. I just feel like you're creating some really necessary boundaries here because, like I said, I just don't think you, you want to play in the shallow end, Scorpio. I don't think that you want to do something or spend your time on something unless you know it's it's real and if somebody wants to play and if somebody you know doesn't want to come all in or if they're going to leave everything to you all the the reaching out all the all the communicating or caring you know whatever it is um i don't see you chasing here and i don't see you see you necessarily waiting um I see you kind of honoring yourself and standing up for yourself. It's really powerful. I don't usually get messages that come through quite like this. And it's, it's very empowering here, this energy. There's definitely love. There's definitely romance. But there's something about you that you're really standing in your, you know, in your energy. And um, it's powerful. So your person in their daily life has a temperance card. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but I do feel like whatever the case is with you, this person feels like there's something significant to this connection. They feel that it is worth whatever it's going to take. I do feel like they are um, taking a stand. And if you talk to this person and told them some things about what you can and can't do or what you, you know, what, um, what you need, I feel like they're really taking it in and they're really thinking it all through. And they feel like there's something, there's something divine in a sense, even if they don't use the words like destined or divine or things like that, they do feel like you're someone they met for a reason. And, um, if the two of you aren't talking, they see they see signs of you like everywhere. That's not for everyone, um, but um, as far as not talking. But if you're talking less or if you've had some kind of disagreement, they just keep seeing things that remind um, them of you everywhere. In your heart space, and this is the other reason why I was just kind of looking at this energy of you sort of standing up for yourself, um, Scorpio, you've got the hermit. This is the energy, um, Virgo energy could be significant, but someone who has gone deep within, someone who is um, exploring their inner world. And this is an energy that has to do with, you know, being single and with solitude and taking time for yourself. So like I said, you may have ended a release something that wasn't working. You may have kind of stood up and said, this is who I am. This is what I need or, or, 
or someone could have said some things to you that may have been hurtful and difficult that um, that you're just in this energy of, you know, if holding out for what I really want, what I really deserve means being on my own a little bit, I feel like you're good, you're grounded, and um, and it's a positive place to be because you've got some you've got some things coming in in this potential outcome where the energy really shifts here. But I think it has to do with you just really owning who you are. Your person has the five of wands in their art space and we'll definitely get some clarifiers on some of these cards. Um, but um, they're a little conflicted there. I mean, if there were words or difficulty between the two of you, they're kind of going around, going around in circles in their mind a little bit, maybe overthinking, maybe repeating things that um, they said to you in their mind, thinking about how they could have said it better, how they could have done it better, um, really wanting to take a stand for this. But, um, but they're going around in circles a little bit. This is, uh, this is an energy that isn't really direct. In your intentions, you've got the you've got the six of pentacles. And that's why I was saying like you're you're holding out for for what you deserve, for what really matters, and it's 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 working because you are attracting in something that is balanced, someone who meets you where you're at, someone who gives as much as you give, someone who loves as deeply as you love with these scales balanced, this energy. Um, and I get Taurus energy from this. So the scales, of course, remind me of Libra, but um, your intention is to have a balanced connection, a connection where you both go all in. And I feel like some part of you is definitely holding out for this. Um, and I feel like that is really, it's really kind of sending a signal to the universe. Like if someone is going to be in this connection, they're going to need to step up. They're going to need to do their part. Um, the person's intentions are the lovers. Gemini energy could be significant, but I feel like this is somebody who wants to do this. This is somebody who wants to work through any kind of um, challenge that there is and take this stand because they feel very, like very deeply attracted to you and connected to you. And they feel like it's quite possible you could, you could be the one. So in your potential outcome, gosh, now somebody's at the door. You've got the, for your person, we've got the page of wands, the two of wands, the six of pentacles, and the chariot. So do you see how in your energy, you're kind of holding out for this Six of Pentacles? Well, look what this person shows up with here. A message about the two of you taking steps forward because they want to go all in. They want to do what it takes. And with the Chariot, they kind of want to go for it now. Like they want to move forward. I feel like this person has done some healing. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here, Taurus once again, and um, some Aries energy. And then of course, Cancer with the Chariot card. But Page of Wands is new beginnings. It's communication. The Two of Wands is taking some steps together, balancing things out. I feel like there is a need for balance. Um, and this is someone who I feel like really wants to wants to put their all, maybe in ways they haven't in the past. Um, but with the chariot, they do want to move forward. They do want to see where this can go. In your potential outcome, we have the Three of Cups, the Fool, the Justice card, and the Six of Cups. So I do feel like if you have taken some time and it doesn't necessarily mean you've had a disagreement or broke up, it's going to be different for everyone. Sometimes it can just be pulling back from something. Um, it's different for everyone. You know what your story is. But if you've taken this time out for yourself, you've got this three of cups energy. I feel like you are um, more cancer energy. So a lot of that here. Um, 
I feel like you are doing some things that you love, doing some things that you enjoy. If you aren't, that is that is uh, that is coming up for you. This is creativity. This is being reunited with people that you care about, people you like. This is friendship. Um, this person might know that they need to come in as a friend and talk about friendship before they offer anything deeper. Because I do see like you've got your you've got your guard up a little bit, um, but. This could just be you just doing your thing and getting together with your friends and not worrying so much about all of this um, for a bit. With the Fool, um, this, is, this is a fresh start. This is taking a leap. This is following your heart. This is, um, this is going, going for what you truly know is is right for you even if you don't know all the details i feel like you're wrapping something up and beginning something really fresh here be it in love be it in life be it in work or just be it in your way of thinking with that death card leading into this you you're releasing some stuff and with the fool it's like you're ready for just this fresh start to be free to be light to just see what can happen so um with the Justice card, I mean, with your final two cards, we've got the Justice card and we've got the Six of Cups. So Libra energy and then Scorpio energy there. That is your energy. This is a major arcana. So um, the Justice card of a balanced relationship, a balanced connection. Manifesting something that gives as... Um, as much as as you give do you see how we have we have the scales three times we have two six of pentacles which are kind of like a minor arcana sort of justice card and then the major arcana which is the justice card i feel like if this person comes in because this is leading to a six of cups willing to do their part willing to really show up um, for you in the ways that you show up for people. Scorpio, you show up for people. I have some very dear Scorpios in my life, and there is no one that has my back more than some of my Scorpio friends. When they care, they care all the way. And I feel like you need that. You need someone that, that gives, like, 100% the way you do and I think that that's what you've been holding out for and I think that if this person really comes in with that kind of energy with this six of cups you may be willing to to have a go and um this is a card of this is like a soulmate energy this is someone that your heart knows this is someone that you really like and really want to be with so um with that fool there and the page, I mean, it could be a completely new person, but you definitely have some like soul history there. But this could be you kind of working things out with whoever this person is, where there may have been challenges, there may have been words or whatever it is. But there's only one way that you're going to work it out. And that is if this, this justice comes in, this balanced, honest, um, really equal give and take comes in. But... Um, that someone's opening up their heart to you, Scorpio. Someone, someone really has very warm feelings for you, and they definitely, they definitely want, they definitely want a chance. So, I'm gonna pull a couple clarifiers. So, why do we have the Death card? Why do we have the Death card? Wow, Four of Pentacles. Um, may have been something that you held on to for for some time that that you've decided to release, that you've decided to let go of. Um, it's gonna be different things for everyone. Capricorn energy is significant there. Um, but could have been holding on, could have been waiting for something, um, or you could have just been giving and giving um, where the situation wasn't really equal or balanced. 
and I feel like you're willing to release things that aren't working. So why do we have the seven of wands for your person? Why do we have the seven of wands? Why do we have the seven of wands? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. We've got the seven of swords here. Um, it's quite possible. I mean, this person has some pretty strong feelings for you. 100% with the lovers showing up. But I don't know if they've told you the whole story. I don't know that they've been completely honest, whether that's about their feelings or about other things going on in their life that have come in between the two of you. Um, but you may have, I mean, you may have pulled back from, um, you may have pulled back from someone. Well, <laughs> get a few more cards. So why do we have this five of wands? Why do we have this five of wands? So you've got the five of wands clarified by the, um, by the magician here. I feel like you are taking a stand for yourself, Scorpio. You're owning who you are. You know what you deserve. You know what you really want. I feel like you are really willing to release what doesn't work and truly manifest something that is absolutely right for you. With the magician, you focus your mind, you focus your heart on what you really desire and deserve, and you draw that in. Something really positive is coming towards you with the Justice card, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Something that's really meant to be. Something that is really, really positive for you. But if someone hasn't been completely honest with you, um, you have to. I feel like at times you have to just be true to yourself and do what is best for you. And things that are meant to work out will have a way of working themselves out. This person has the five of wands clarified by the two of pentacles. I just feel like maybe this person um, with this two of pentacles here, that can at times be an energy of somebody who is a little in and out, somebody who could be kind of trying to juggle too much, not putting enough attention and, um, and time into the connection. That could be what you know caused the challenge or the difficulty. But why do they have the lovers here? Why do they have the lovers? Page of Swords. Oh my gosh. I felt like a lot of similar energy came through for Libra. If you have been dealing with the Libra, there might be something here. But um, they may be completely in love with you. But with the Page of Swords, that's what the secrecy is about. I was kind of wondering here because I wasn't seeing a lot of negative cards for this person. But this, this Seven of Swords shows up and it's like they're not telling the whole story. There's something they're holding back. With the page of swords and the lovers, um, they may have fallen really hard for you and aren't talking about it. This is someone who can be like watching you online, asking about you, you know, wanting to know more, having a lot of feelings, but they might not have really stepped up to the plate yet um, to move forward, to, to do something. Um, so why do we have this page of wands, two of wands, three of cups, four, <laughs> okay. They have the Page of Wands um, clarified by the Four of Swords. This person, I feel like there has been some quiet energy. They've been thinking about you a lot, maybe even dreaming about you, I do have to say. They have been quiet, but I feel like they do um, They do intend to, to speak up um, because we've got this Two of Wands clarified by the Four of Wands. This person definitely, definitely is interested definitely has feelings for you. This could be a, a connection that could really go someplace if this person opens up and is ready to go all in. But I feel like for you, Scorpio, you've got someone out that you're connected to. You've got someone 
could be this person, could be someone someone else. And it's just such a similar energy to what I saw for the Libras. It's kind of odd. And you've got a lot of Libras showing up. Maybe you just have strong placement of that in your chart. But you definitely have someone you're attracting in. But we've got this three of um, cups clarified by the devil card. So Capricorn could be significant. But I just feel like if somebody's being toxic, if somebody isn't like really being completely honest with you, even if they have a lot of deep feelings for you, you are kind of better off to just take some time, hang out with your friends and hold out for what is really right for you. Because you've got the fool clarified by the nine of pentacles. You could be just choosing to be single. You could be choosing to be single until this person is ready to really, really go all in and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Or you could be choosing to be single um, because you know there's something else out there for you that is someone that is going to kind of truly come all in and open their heart and share their feelings. So only you know, only you know if it's this person that you want to reunite with, that you want to be with, or if this is... Um, if you're holding out for for a new energy so it's going to be different like i said for everyone that watches it but once again i do feel like this person might be kind of keeping some things to themselves not might not be really opening up about their feelings but with the lovers and the four of wands there are a lot of feelings for you this person does <laughs> care possibly a lot more than you even realize it's just that they um they've been kind of watching from a distance keeping some of their feelings a secret i do feel like that is going to change with the six of pentacles and the chariot i do feel like they want to go in i do feel like they want to make an offer but you're the only one that knows if you're willing to go out of this kind of nine of pentacles energy which is being good on your own into this shared connection energy so that is what i have for you interesting message for april i'm excited to see what is in the um in the extended because in the extended is if this does feel like your person then this is someone you're interested in this is the person that you are wanting to really connect with. We are going to take kind of a deep dive into what is going on with them, um, what they want to say to you, but maybe haven't said yet, um, what they like about the connection, what they don't like, hopes, fears, and a potential outcome, what they might likely do next. So going to be taking a deep dive into your person, seeing what is going on um, there and how they're really feeling about you. So Anyway, this is where we part. I thank you. I appreciate you all so much. And if something spoke to you, these are general readings. You want something a little more personal. I am offering, I am still offering personal readings on my website. Um, not sure how much longer I will. And I know I think I said that in the last video. I have cut down on the amount of um, personal readings I am doing. But right now they are open. So if you're interested, I would love to hear from you all. And um I hope you have a great rest of April. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.